and welcome. I'm Marilee McKee and you're watching Manners Mentor TV. Today, we're going to talk soup. No, not the cancel television show, although that was a pretty good show. Today, we're going to talk about real soup, the yummy, delicious kind that we enjoy all year long. And I'll share with you some simple and savvy tips to make sure that eating soup is always easy and enjoyable for you. First of all, we'll look at our place setting. We have to know what spoon we're going to use to eat our soup. Now, there are two kinds of spoons at any place setting. There is a smaller spoon, simply called a place spoon, and then the larger spoon, which is the soup spoon. When you sit down, the soup spoon will be the spoon furthest away from your plate. that can be baffling about eating soup is that there are so many different serving pieces that the soup can be in. Let's take a look at this one for instance. Here we have a regular bowl. Now this bowl, it has a plate underneath it. When soup is served in any type of bowl, no matter what the bowl looks like or the size of the bowl, if there is a plate underneath it, what you want to remember is that in between bites of soup, you rest your spoon on the plate that the, that the bowl is sitting on. Just like that. Another way that soup is sometimes served, and this tends to be at more formal affairs or dainty little tea shops, things like that, is in a literal teacup, just like the one I have here. You still are gonna use a large spoon, although as you can tell with the teaspoon, it seems to make more sense because this is an awfully large spoon for this little cup. But the same thing holds true, that we want to use um, the larger spoon just because of the amount of time that it would take. Again, in between bites, we're going to place the spoon on the plate beneath it. In this case, it's a saucer behind the serving bowl, which in this place is a coffee cup, just like that. Here's another way that you'll see soup served. This is actually called, instead of a soup bowl, a soup plate. You might wonder why it's called a soup plate. The reason is it's a very, very shallow bowl. In fact, as I lift it up, look how very shallow it is. And I'll compare it to this bowl from the same place setting, right? Perfectly acceptable to serve soup in this, although you'd want to put a bread or sandwich plate underneath it so that the spoon could rest underneath it. But you can just see the difference in the depth. So we call this a soup plate. And since there's no plate underneath it, in between bites, and when we're finished with the soup, whether we've eaten it all or we still have some left, it doesn't matter. We simply leave our spoon in the soup plate like so, just like that. I'll share with you something about eating soup, something that's actually counterintuitive. You would think that you would spoon your soup towards you because as you spoon it towards you, well, it's actually closer to your mouth and thus easier to eat. But in actuality, you always want to spoon your soup away from you. So like this, you take it like this, spoon it across the bowl and then bring it back. Now, the reason that you're spooning it away from you is so that on its little trip back across the soup bowl, or in this case, the soup plate, if anything's going to drop off, it has a chance to drop off and land in the bowl instead of on your shirt or on your lap. See, soup isn't so hard after all. Just a few things to remember, some of them counterintuitive, like the putting the spoon on the plate underneath, remembering that if it's a soup plate that the spoon stays in the bowl and also that crackers are eaten sparingly. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Marilee McKee and you have just watched an edition of Manners Mentor TV. Until next time, blessings.